reacting to it this morning at 639. We are just 27 days away from the next total solar eclipse. Yes, we are counting down and with less than one month to go this morning. We are sharing just how much of this phenomenon will actually be able to see right here. Plus meteorologist Lauren Rainson is also digging into the best times for us to check it out. Good morning, Lauren. We're dying to hear these details. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so let's briefly recap what exactly you're going to see in the sky during the late morning hours on April 8th here at home in Arizona. Now on April 8th, well, you can see that typical orbit of the Earth around the sun, but during a solar eclipse, the moon passes right in between the sun and the Earth, casting shadows onto Earth. And here in Arizona, we're going to see those partial shadows. Everyone in the path of totality will experience full shadows or the total surface of the sun entirely blocked out by the moon. Now, in order to safely view this, of course, don't look directly at the sun and even sunglasses are not good enough. You could still hurt your eyes if you're not careful. You want those you know, those special viewing glasses. I know they've been passed out. They were passed out back in 2017, and I'm sure a lot of local places will be handing those out as well. But it's even safer to look indirectly by projecting the sun's image with a pinhole or binoculars. Again, you don't want to hurt your eyes. This will all begin at 10.08 our time with a peak viewing at 11.20 a.m. Phoenix time before the eclipse ends at 12.35 p.m. And we will see 64% of the sun's surface obscured by the moon. Typically on this day, we see plenty of sun with average high temperatures in the low 80s. So fingers crossed, our viewing the forecast will pan out on April 8th. All right, Lauren, thank you.